So we're on the side of the chain, and as you can see in the background, uh, things changed last minute. So we already had um, this basic treatment for the video, and then just this weekend, we sort of accidentally started a riot in Mexico City, <laughs> and some people got up on the stage and took all of our stuff and the drum kit and a lot of gear and um, made a big bonfire. So we're on the plane the next day on the way home, just like, man, that did not go the way we thought it was gonna go. I got a text from Amy while she was flying back to the States while she was on the plane saying, I'm gonna call you in an hour. Kind of like stopped smiling. I was like, we should really set the drum set on fire for the video. <laughs> so when we got to the layover, I called Paul and I was like, hey, new direction. She landed, got a call and she said, well, we need to light a kid on fire. Can we make that happen? So there we go. My name's Del Gower. I'm here to burn up some drums today. I didn't find out I was doing this until last night at 9.30. Have you burned a drum set before? Uh, no, lots of guitars. I burned a stack of guitars that was probably 20 feet tall. We were really heartbroken sitting there, you know, watching uh, our set go up in flames. Especially Will, he was so heartbroken. What you're seeing here is a rebuild. And we rebuilt it with this fine gentleman right there. That's JCDC. My uh, tech for years, best buddy, best friend. And we did it, we rebuilt this, because in Mexico they tried to burn it all down. And they did, but, but we went. And it's funny how perfect it works with what the, the song already meant to me was about um, us banding together against forces trying to pull us apart. Yeah, we're just gonna take that and make it shine in the video about us um, standing together in the face of adversity or whatever comes your way. You just gotta rise up stronger. I'm Samantha Rowe and I'm the costume designer of the video. I looked at the game and looked at Evanescence and you know where they've come from in their style and this was sort of just the marriage of both of those things. We sort of all stuck in one color realm which is different for us actually. So I wanted to do that for this one and I love it. We got Samantha Rowe, I've never worked with her before, she's a really cool stylist. Um, and we hit it off right away, she's like, post apocalyptic is my absolute favorite thing, you asked the right person. Um, so we were just geeking out, kind of creating stuff and um, making it together. It was pretty quick. It was like, here's the mood board, here's my ideas, and then Amy actually came up with the red tied throughout the whole thing. So it was like, my idea, her idea, and it was there that quickly. It didn't even need to go back and forth. It was like we were just on it, on the same page. It was really cool. It's fun for us to sort of branch out and do something a little bit different than we always do. because It's creative. It's just like another realm of, of creative. But also we wanted to fit into the look of like the Gears world. Like kind of like the trailer, but not exactly like ourselves in it, but not exactly the same. Anyway, I'm digging it. My name is Cindy Williams, uh, production designer on this uh, really cool uh, project with uh, Paul Brown and Evanescence. The little miniature set was uh, inspired by uh, Gears of War 5, so we tried to uh, create a landscape that had the same atmosphere and feel that the game has. I designed the set so that uh, it was uh, accessible with uh, the camera lenses that Paul's going to be using. We started out with just basically uh, insulation styrofoam, like house insulation, and we used a combination of chemicals and heat to uh, form the uh, landscape and to do the rocks. It's just so cool, so much fun. Now I want to play the game. Hey, my name is PR Brown. I'm the director for the chain video. Very excited here today. We get to play with lots of toys. Uh, get to blow some things up and play with lots of smoke. Really enjoying how this is all coming together where we create this kind of organic world for all of these projections of the game to come back in uh, to kind of meld the Evanescence world with the Gears 5 world. So here we are, we're setting up for one of our final shots of the day. So you can see our crazy crew at work here, building this miniature world for us to uh, create the, the giants that will be Evanescence in the background. And we have this crazy ass lens called a Lawa lens that is a probe lens that lets me get crazy close down into this miniature world. It creates an unreal world that I haven't been able to shoot before in a music video. So. It's nice to use this for a change and have some fun with it. Got it. That's a wrap, folks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.